Good morning. Uh, today we're going to work a common optimization problem in uh, Calculus 1. Uh, I've drawn a little picture here that's going to have uh, to save us a little time and I'll read the problem and the picture will probably make more sense, hopefully. Uh, you're designing an athletic field in the shape of a rectangle x meters long capped at two ends by semicircular regions of radius r. So here we have the uh, rectangle with the long side being x and the semicircular regions on the ends of the track. I'm sure you've seen a track like that uh, with radius r. The boundary of the field is to be a 400 meter track. So that's going to be our constraint in a minute. Uh, and then the question is what we're supposed to maximize. What values of x and r will give the rectangle its greatest area. Actually, we didn't, we could have been wanting to minimize this, but we're wanting to maximize this. We're looking for the values of x and r that will give the rectangle its greatest area. So first, we'll start with what we have. And uh, first it says that the length of our track all the way around is 400 meters. And generally, uh, we call that the perimeter. So I'll just use a p. So p equals 400 meters and that's our constraint or it's it's part of our constraint anyway it's what we're going to have to work with um, so now in order to finish up we get our equation of our constraint uh, we need a formula for the perimeter well the perimeter of this thing is equal to uh, x plus x so that's 2x plus the distance around this semicircle and the distance around that semicircle well that's what we call the what I'm sure you know is the uh, circumference of a semicircle. In this case, since it's the same semicircle, then it's just the circumference of the circle. So that's uh, sometimes you're given the formula as pi times the diameter or pi, two pi times the radius. Since we already have radius here, we're going to uh, use the, uh, the distance around this semicircle is uh, pi r the distance around this one is pi r, so the total distance would be 2 pi r, which is just the circumference of a circle. Uh, so we have 2 pi r. That's our constraint. Uh, we'll just plug in our constant here to finish it up. We have 400 equals 2x plus 2 pi r. Okay, now we need a uh, equation in order to maximize. and uh, this is a point where we need to read the uh, problem carefully. What values of x and r will give the rectangle its greatest area? So we're looking for area. It's going to be our equation that we're going to maximize. And so we're going to have a equals something. Now if we don't read this, this uh, problem carefully, we might think, well, the area equals the area of this semicircle plus the area of this rectangle plus the area of this semicircle, which would be, uh, you know, the area of a circle pi r squared plus the, uh, the length of this side, which is 2r, times the length of this side, which is x. But that would maximize and or minimize, depending on the question, in this case, maximize the area of the whole region. Well, if you do that, you're going to get it wrong. For one thing, that's not what it asks for. Uh, it asks what values of x and r well, they'll give the rectangle, so just this part, the maximum area. And in fact, if you did make the uh, formula for the area as being uh, the area of the entire thing, you would get a value that would give you uh, the area of a circle, and x would be zero, because you're going to get a maximum amount of area with the circle over this rectangle. But we want to maximize this rectangle. Who knows? I want to do like track and field events in there, I guess. Um, I'm not really a sports person, so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so we need a formula in terms of x and r for the area of that rectangle. And pretty much I already give it to you. It's the uh, the width times the length. In this case, the length is the uh, is x, and the width is two times r. So it's kind of dirty there, but anyway, uh, a equals x times two r. So now we have a function in two variables. We have a constraint. So we want to solve our constraint for one variable and then plug it into our formula to get uh, the area in terms of one of our variables, x or r. Um, I don't really care. I'm going to solve for uh, x. Okay, so we'll begin by subtracting uh, 
uh, 2 pi r on both sides and dividing by 2 and we get an equivalence for x and then if we can divide both of these by 2 we get 200 x equals 200 oops the 2 is gone times pi r so now uh, we can um, I'm just deciding where to put it on the board. I think I'll put it over here. Now we have a formula for the area in terms of r, so one variable, so we can write that. A of r equals uh, x is now 200 minus pi r, I'll cap that with parentheses, times 2r. Um, go ahead and multiply that out. I don't want to have to use the product rule when we take the derivative. I guess we could, but no reason to. Uh, 2r times 200 is 400r. 2r times negative pi r is minus 2 uh, pi r squared. Um, now it's time to go ahead and take the derivative with respect to r. So we get a prime of r equals the derivative of 400r is 400. The derivative of negative 2 pi r squared, bring the exponent of r down. Multiply it by the 2, you get a negative 4 pi r. Now, in order to maximize, to find the maximum value, we uh, set the derivative equal to 0 and solve for r. And it looks like, since this is a linear uh, variable, that we're only going to get one value. And in fact, we do when we uh, subtract 400 to both sides, divide by negative 4 pi, we get r equals 100 over pi, and that's of course in meters. And then, uh, you know, we only got one value, generally when you only get one value, you say, oh yeah, that, that makes sense, and that's it. Um, just to kind of show you, we could use the second derivative test, which says that if the uh, second derivative evaluated at the uh, value that you're looking at is negative, then you have a max. If it's positive, you have a min. Uh, so let's just do that really quick because it's easy enough to do. So a double prime is equal to negative 4 pi. Well, that's definitely less than 0, so that implies a max. So we check there. So we know that that's a max. Um, we could use like a little a little uh, sign chart too with the little increasing decreasing stuff, but since we don't really care about that right now, we might as well use second derivative test. Plus, a good chance to use it. You know, when do you use it before uh, Cal two and Cal three um, and Cal one? Uh, anyway, so now back into uh, to find a value for x. So we get two hundred. We're just substituting in for r times pi over 100 uh, pi equals, what is that? The pi's go away, we get 100 meters. So in order to maximize that rectangle, x is going, the value of x that will maximize it is 100 meters, the value of r that will maximize it is 100 over pi meters. And that's about it. Um, I didn't mess around with the domain. Uh, I could have, but uh, usually unless I, I, I foresee problems in the end, I probably won't mess with the domain until uh, until the end uh, because a lot of times a lot of times you will get only one value. A lot of times you'll get two, maybe three, but the uh, other two, the the ones that aren't possible are, are kind of obvious when you get them. So. I just kind of find it easier rather than stump yourself with the domain at first um, to go ahead and although it is important and it is a good skill to have, I, I just find for practical reasons to go ahead and work the problem. So that's why I didn't mess with the domain up in here. Um, but anyway, uh, are the constraints on X and R is what, what I'm talking about. Uh, anyway, so that's the answer. X equals 100 meters, R equals 100 over pi meters. And uh, you can get an approximation yourself if you want one.